vroom, 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 vroom. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81 once again, and we're taking a look at some car paint. I got a comment about car paint a little bit ago, and figured this is a super easy one. Might as well just knock it out the park. We're gonna go ahead. And take a look at this. I created this material off camera. It's pretty simple. Just a simple, basic, nice looking, uh, like a paint kind of, like, uh, not really acrylic. What's the word I'm looking for? A gloss type finish paint job? Yeah, sure. And we have this really cool effect where you can see the, um, well, you can't really tell, but in the center, it's a little darker than the rest of everything else. So you can see there's a very faint blackness in here, right here. And then, of course, we have the two lamps, which are getting in the way of uh, properly displaying that but you see we got two lamps here just one on uh, both sides here and let me have to turn my overlays on real quick uh, I can hit G to m probably move this over a little bit rotate it around but yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing today really quick really simple I'm gonna go ahead and uh, split my window into two by dragging up from the top left hand corner and just dragging that open I'm gonna go ahead and go back uh, turn my overlays off uh, I'm gonna change this to the shader editor now we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need it and this material right here is pretty straightforward. I want to go ahead and open this up a little bit more. Um, so, T to get rid of that panel on the side, by the way. Uh, the first thing we have is pretty much just this principal BFDF, principal BSDF shader. It's just this. That's pretty much all it looks like. It's pretty solid, pretty blah, not very special. But I have a couple of things in here. So I have some subsurface. Um, and, the, on, and in the subsurface, I have, ooh, in the subsurface, I have everything, ooh. No, everything should be set to one not zero I have everything set to one but you can tell if I turn this off it pretty much does nothing it does very slightly you can see down at the like take a look in this area right here very very slight change very slight change but it kind of takes some of the harsh edge off uh, and especially uh, especially later on so I have that all the way up and then in the radius all of these are turned to one uh, I have both of my colors set to the same thing so I picked the red color here Right, let's pick any red color. Let me actually change the color, maybe like a green yellow, a greenish yellow. And then I just click and dragged that to the other color right there. And might as well just change this while I'm up here. Uh, Alright, cool. Uh, and then I have uh, specular, of course, because that's that's you know great. And then I have specular tint, so that it has a little bit of a greenish uh, film to it, which is nice. Roughness is all the way down. Uh, some people will be like, hey, you got to put the on like 0.001 because nothing's perfectly sharp. Yeah, that's true, but it's such a small difference. I want my car paint to be shiny, guys. I want it to be shine -licious. Um We got sheen all the way up. Very subtle. You can see, take a look up here at the top. It's a very, very subtle kind of effect here on the rims. On the rim right there. Very subtle. And, of course, the clear coat is the same. Well, the clear coat is the same way. You can see right there. Uh, in the shine portion, you can put that all the way down, and then you might get a more vibrant uh, green color there. But you can leave it up or down. I'm actually gonna leave it off for this, to be honest with you. Um, that's nice. So you see, the closer things get to the edge, the whiter they get. There you go. Looks good. I like it. Um, and then uh, everything else is set to zero, except for, of course, IR, which I didn't touch. Um, all right. Then next, ne next, next things first. Next thing second. I added a mix shader, which is just Shift A, which is mix right there, mix shader. Grab that and then put it down. Um, and then what I did was I added, put that back in. I added a, I added a glossy uh, shader here. So disconnect both of those for now. I added a glossy shader, which was of course Shift A, search, glossy, and then I just grabbed that glossy texture uh, material, sorry, and put and put it right there above everything. Hit G to move these nodes around. By the way, all right. Um, so yeah, I just plugged that in the top, and I, I turned the roughness to about half. Uh, it doesn't really matter, because we're going to replace that. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to use uh, the color, I believe. Or no, maybe it is the roughness. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so what I've done is I pretty much just plugged that into the uh, into the second shader value here. It does go into the roughness. Okay, good. All right, uh, I plugged that into, this, into the secondary, well, the first, really, shader value above the principal BSDF shader. And then we have something like this, which is nice. Um, you can see it's very subtle. It uh, just adds a little bit of, like, kind of buff to these areas and it does have a little bit more shine and sheen to it and of course whatever color uh you're using down here you kind of want to make sure that correlates with up there because like this is going to be a really weird car paint if it looks like that um but it doesn't necessarily have to be i mean you can just very slight yellow in there i like that looks good all right so next thing's the third we're going to go ahead and plug in a noise texture this noise texture is going to help us actually get some texture in here because right now if you can tell it's just solid like 
perfect smooth gradient and that's not how any texture in real life is so i hit shift a and i searched for a noise texture and i plopped that bad boy right here i plugged the i believe the factor into the roughness i think so i believe so yeah uh whew, excuse me uh <laughs> I'm, I'm getting tired guys i'm getting tired waiting for all these things in blender uh i turned the distortion to five so by default, it looked like this, actually. It looked like this, if I'm not mistaken, which looks pretty bad. So I turned the value to, what was it, 100? I just added it on. 500, I think it was. 500. Um, and then, actually, wait, no, I, I don't think I did that. I did 100, yet. Yeah. 100, this, the detail all the way up to 16, and then the distortion up to 5. So, yeah. And you can, you can make this go bigger or smaller, depending on how much more detail and, like, swirly, like, paint chippy things you want, I guess. It's like little glimmer shimmer, you know, that cars have and stuff. Um, you can turn the scale up here, get a little bit more fine, so it's a little bit more like, you know, a subtle, detail, realistic kind of stuff. Or you can go lower to 100 and then get a, like a really visible uh, paint gloss, which is really nice. I think that looks really cool. Um, or you can go really, really big on 1,000 and just get the like microscopic little paint, you know, chips. That looks really cool. Uh, 50, I don't think 50 really works. Uh, I guess. I mean, you can do what you want, but... I, I think I like 100 best, actually. So, we're going to leave it on 100. And then, finally, we have this layer weight, which is going to come in handy here. So, I'm actually going to disconnect this just to show you what it does. I'm going to turn the facing into the factor of the mix shader, which, by the way, is Shift-A, Search, and then just Layer Weight, of course. Whatever it says up here is pretty much what you're going to want to type in, unless you're doing, like, a, 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 a math node. And then, when you change this, it'll say Add. And if you change it, it'll say whatever it is. That's weird, by the way. I, I just, I don't like how it does that. Anyway, just wanted to mention that. All right, uh, layer weight. When you plug it in, I believe the default value is 0.5, I think. But I'm not sure. Uh, I think I had this on 0.4. Yeah, I had it on 0.4, 0.3, whatever. Uh, it was on 0.4, but I, I kind of like 0.3. So you see how the layer weight, it kind of makes everything in the in the middle kind of darker, which is nice because a, uh, a lot of paint is like, not iridescent, but that's not the word I'm looking for. You know what the word I'm looking for, where it's darker on the in the middle. Darker in the middle. Um, but yeah, so that goes into the factor. And then, of course, if I put the glossy back in, we're going to get something that looks like th this. I sound like a car just doing that, um, which looks pretty cool. And like I said, the uh, greener color, you can change it to, let's do a, let's do like a reddish Got to gotta make it look a little pink because when it goes red, then it'll be, when it goes uh, darker, then it'll be a little more reddish. So we'll do something like that. Copy those. And then I'll just do a lighter like that. All right, cool. So that is our car paint. I'm going to turn our scale up to 500 here, actually, because I don't really like the 100 yet. The 500 looks really cool. Um, that, that looks really good. I like that quite a bit. And it looks, uh, it looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's car paint tutorial. Uh, yeah, that looks cool, but I don't know if it really looks like car paint. But yeah, that the, the 50, the 50, the 500 looks like car paint, but I don't know if the 50 scale does. But anyway, I think that looks really pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.